How's it going to all the nerd vapors out there? I am CJ Leonzo and thank you for um, for subscribing to the page and watching our watching our videos. And this is our new page. We're still going to be doing a lot of activity on Nerd, Nerd Entertainment 12. And we're still going to end up keeping the Nerd Entertainment name because technically Nerd Entertainment wants to do some more stuff. But... Mostly we've been um, getting getting into, you know, doing skits, doing um, pranks, and also um, the new podcast, which is Vapes and Vibes, Vibes and Vapes. So go ahead and check it out at Nerd Vapors, at Nerd Vapors 559, and like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video. And go ahead and tell us what you like, and if you guys have any flaws, or if there's anything else that you want us to do, or anything else, just go ahead and let us know. We will go ahead and we will be active and we'll go ahead and we'll respond to you guys you gotta excuse my hat right here you know it's it's the only beanie i have because i ended up losing my actual beanie um at the nativity uh at the nativity story and it sucks and i don't have like any good beanies but i have a good one coming up pretty soon and actually i got one i got a ted hat coming and i got a ted beanie and Ted is actually one of my favorite character, no, my one of my favorite characters, other than Family Guy and um, A Million Ways to Die in the West. But Ted is act and the Muppets and stuff. Ted is my absolute favorite. Don't judge me. You gotta excuse my hat right here. You know, it's it's the only beanie I have because I ended up losing my actual beanie um, at the nativity uh, at the nativity story, and it sucks. And I don't have like any good beanies, but I have a good one coming up pretty soon. And actually I got one, I got a Ted hat coming and I got a Ted beanie. And Ted is actually one of my favorite character, no, my one of my favorite characters other than Family Guy and um, A Million Ways to Die in the West. But Ted is, act and the Muppets and stuff, Ted is my absolute favorite. Don't judge. All the um, nerd vapors here are actually been given a project and um, on how they ended up coming about to being uh, part of the nerd crew and getting started on the podcast and how we all met and it's going to be like a little short bio um, so you guys can actually know um, a little bit about us um, and and you know everybody has their favorite you know nerd I'm oh like nerd so which one is going to be your favorite nerd vapor uh, that's what that's kind of like what the idea is and it, technically i am the founder the ceo um when it comes and the and the president when it comes to nerd entertainment um the nerd entertainment um if you guys followed us you know for for years you know how it ended up coming about um it started off back in two um, i would say back in two um somewhere around in 2012 and um, Alex Carrillo um, was one of the main guys that I did um, that I did it with, and also Clay Tagason and um, Katrina Tagason. Uh, we started doing skits together, and we also did a show, show called Rude and Crude. And we and it was really fun. We ended up having a good time, good time doing it. And ever since, um, you know, Al Alex went to go do. Um, you know the biggest step in his life and he ended up moving to Arizona and now he has a family he's married and he has a baby and so he has a family and he's living out there in the center of the devil's hell out there so I would not recommend going over there even if he asked me to would I I'm actually a winter person, so yeah, <laughs> cut to the chase. But let's go ahead and let's, let's get back on the topic. And um, after that, we ended up giving it a rest. I ended up giving it a rest. I still kept doing skits, and um, I ended up doing a little podcast here and there. And then um, I ended up doing a little po I ended up getting back into the podcasts, and um, I ended up doing um, I ended up doing it with some other people on my with some other um, group. And then afterwards, it did not. Um, it did not go exactly how I expected it. To. Just like a real horrible story, but I wouldn't want to get to any of it because it's all on the now. So I ended up um, getting a whole. Oh my, getting a whole from um, the gallows. They they're the directors and the writers. And I ended up um, getting an interview with them, and they actually liked what I did, and I was, you know, motivated to go ahead and get 
and get to know them a lot more and they wanted me to go ahead and you know be in this um, audition for acting so I did and I ended up getting added on as well just like how it was Shane and we did Tremendum's Nightmare Theater I was the first I was the first one first actor to end up showing up because I had experience in acting before and I was the first actor to show up and they ended up um they at the Divorce Studios they I auditioned and Right when we were two, right when we were in the middle of skit, it was me and um, another friend, and they liked us, and we got. So for um, like so we did tremendous nightmare theater all through October, and I was uh, front and center. Right when you came up the stairs, I was the first one to bring you, um, you know, bring you into the nightmare and send you off to the on your way to the theater, quarter of a mile long, and that's how. Um, during that time period, that was when I met Sugar Shane Burris, uh, the ugly ass white boy. He, he he had a on his video, yeah. If if you watch it, yeah, he he was right about one thing. He's an ugly motherfucker. Uh, so he um, so we that's when I ended up meeting um, Sugar Shane Burris and a couple of other guys, and we were doing um we were doing podcasts right after whoever wanted to stay, and they ended up staying, and then we also ended up having Salem Fury. Uh, which uh, Marcus uh, we ended up having having him part on my part of the podcast and we also had Sugar Shane and a, a whole lot of other people and uh, we we ended up doing it through the whole night and it was fun it, it, it was it was really fun and you know staying all the way out there till like two it, it was it was extremely awesome it was all through the whole entire session uh, through the whole entire month and then we took it off we ended up uh, and then me um, Sugar Shane and Fury, we all ended up, we all got together. Um, my brother joined in. Um, we did, before my brother decided to go in, we did, um, before Rude and Crude, we did a little podcast. It was called um, um, Highlight Brothers uh, Video 1. We only did one, and then after that, he just didn't want to do it after all. I think it's because his panties were all up in a bunch, and he just never really wanted to get to it. Anyways. But he, he is also, right now my brother is still, you know, my brother Patrick Coots, he's also, um, he's doing videos right now, he's going to college, and he's actually fulfilling his dream on becoming a filmmaker, and um, I'm actually happy for him and happy to still have him part of the crew, and we took it, and we all still got together, we all ended up going to, you know, the Dirty Dowdy podcasts, um, and we all got together and still ended up doing podcasts, and then we... I'm actually a winter person, so yeah, <laughs> cut to the chase. But let's go. Let's get back on the topic. And um, after that, we ended up giving in the rest. I ended up giving in the rest. I still kept doing skits, and um, I ended up doing a little podcast here and there. And then um, I ended up doing a little pod. I ended up getting back into the podcasts, and um, I ended up doing. Um, I ended up doing it with some other people on my with some other um, group. And then afterwards, it did not um, it did not go exactly how I expected it to be, and um, it it was just like a real horrible story. But I wouldn't want to get to any of it because it's all in the past, and I'm actually glad to where it is right now. So I ended up um, getting a hold on um, my getting a hold of Chris and Travis, and I did uh, from um, the Gallows. They they're the directors and the writers. And I ended up um, getting an interview with them, and they actually liked what I did, and I was, you know, motivated to go ahead and get to get to know them a lot more. And they wanted me to go ahead and, you know, be in this um, audition for acting, so I did, and I ended up getting added on as well, just like how it was Shane. And we did Tremendum's Nightmare Theater. I was the first. I was the first one, first actor to end up showing up because I had experience in acting before. And I was the first actor to show up, and they studios. They I auditioned, and right when we were two, me and um, another friend, and they liked us, and we got the part, and we got hired. So for um, like so we did Tremendous Nightmare Theater all through October, and I was uh, front and center. Right when you came up the stairs, I was the first one to bring you, um, you know bring you into the nightmare and send you off to the on your way to the mile long and that's how um during that time period that was when i met sugar shane burris uh the ugly ass white boy 
he he had a on his video yeah if if you watch it yeah he he was right about one thing he's an ugly motherfucker uh so he um so we, that's when i ended up meeting um sugar shane burst and a couple of other guys and we were doing a podcast right after whoever wanted to stay and they ended up staying and then we also ended up having salem fury uh which uh marcus uh, we ended up having having him part on my part of the podcast, and we also had Sugar Shane and a, a whole lot of other people, and uh, we we ended up doing it through the whole night, and it was fun. It, it, it was it was really fun, and you know, staying all the way out there till like two, it, it was it was extremely awesome. It was all through the whole entire session, uh, through the whole entire month, and then we took it off. We ended up, uh, and then me. Um, Sugar Shane and Fury, we all ended up, we all got together. Um, my brother joined in. Um, we did, before my brother decided to go in, we did, um, before Rude and Crude, we did a little podcast. It was called um, um, High Life Brothers uh, Video 1. We only did one, and then after that, he just didn't want to do it after all. I think it's because his panties were all up in a bunch, and he just never really wanted to get to it. Anyways. But he, he is also, right now my brother is still, you know, my brother Patrick Coots, he's also, um, he's doing videos right now, he's going to college, and he's actually fulfilling his dream on becoming a filmmaker. And um, I'm actually happy for him and happy to still have him part of the crew. And we took it and we all still got together. We all ended up going to, you know, the Dirty Dowdy podcasts. Um, and we all got together and still ended up doing podcasts and then we, um, got interviews with Diehards and Son, um, with Pete Salazar, which was really awesome. And and right now, um, we actually, um, we actually we ended up meeting a, a new, on uh, my meeting, you know, a first Fresno YouTuber. I thought we were the only ones, but it was um, Tyler, Tyler uh, Vitolo. Ugh, I can't say it right, dude, I'm sorry. <laughs> And Tyler actually has his page. Go ahead and go follow him. Go like, comment, subscribe, and share his page. He is awesome, and he does a lot of cool things. And he's act. And he, you can, if you guys want to go ahead and you know you want to interview him or go chill with him or, or say hi to him or anything, go visit Clovis TGI Vape. It's right there. It's right. It's right in Clovis. It's on. I would say it's on Shaw and Willow. It's right there between. It's right there. It's right. It's right in Clovis. It's on. I would say it's on Shaw and Willow. It's right there between um, Billard's and Hook and Ladder's um, Bar. So go ahead and check that place out. It is awesome. Real awesome choice. Um, if you guys go ahead and go to a few of our videos down, you'll see um, they have so many selections. And it's they're really good. So shout out to TGI Vape and, um, and Clovis. So, um, so right now we're actually doing a whole lot of things started. We're going to go ahead and we're going to do a podcast for you guys tomorrow. A slice of comedy. Um, you're going to hear Joe Nasty. Um, you probably end up hearing um, Anthony, uh, Anthony Anonymous. Um, so I hope that he ends up going over there. You'll also end up hearing um, Honey Badger. And we're also going to end up getting um, Sugar Shane Burris on... Um, on a live stream so or on skype or something like that just so he can go ahead and he can still be a part of the podcast and also um hopefully patrick coots you'll hear patrick coots as well and so technically that's what we're gonna that's how it, we all ended up getting started on a uh, short little short little version of it but soon later and reuniting probably within like after the next six months um, because I really want to end up having a whole lot of it, um, a whole lot of other people there. And then also we ended up getting a brand new member. Um, he's also a, a um, also being a recruitment. He needs to do his initiation. So uh, we have Noel the Grinch Vapor. Grinch, he came. He came down. He came down last week with. Um, he came down last week with Sugar Shane uh, from Hollister, and of course Hollister really sucks from what I heard. And we we decided to go ahead and um, give him a shot, and he fit right in. You know, he was you know we he was like a nerd, tall. Oh my, tall. Remind me of fucking Andre the Giant. Even his expressions look like Andre the Giant. And um, 
so yeah he ended up uh so we got so we got him in so we're gonna have have him do some videos and stuff as well so you guys will be more likely to end up seeing him you end up seeing um the rest of the other nerd vapors uh, they all have access into um into the facebook page into um the instagram and on youtube so they all get to end up posting whatever they feel like um i just posted up a video sugar shane has been posting up videos uh we're just waiting for a couple of the nerd crews to get out of their nutshell and oh my grow out of their nutshell grow a pair and just go ahead and just make a video it's not that hard to end up you know being in front of a camera